Welcome back. We're now going to look at other parts of the data menu. In particular, we're going to look at the sort and filter commands and the data tools. Now, the sort command is another very widely used function of Excel and basically allows us to sort any column of data. So, for example, we can take this set of numbers, we can click the sort command, and what we can do is we can decide that we want to sort that column on the basis of the cell values and then we want to sort it on the basis of smallest to largest. You're going to notice then that all of the values appear in numerical order. We can do this across multiple sets of data. So for example, we can go across three sets of data. We can then click the sort command and then we can sort by a specific column. We can sort by column C. We can then sort on the basis of largest to smallest, and then click OK. You'll see then all of the data is going to arrange according to this column. We can also sort text columns. So for example, we can sort this data, click sort. We can determine that we want this data to appear in A to Z order. And you'll see then that the data will realign. We can also set filters across our data. So for example, what we can do is we can click the filter button. You'll see then that we have drop down arrows on each column. We can then take that drop down arrow and then we can rearrange it, largest to smallest. And we also have data tools inside of this panel. So for example, one thing we can do is we can remove duplicates from our data. So where we have some duplicate names, we can take this selection. We can click this button that says remove duplicates. We'll specify the column. You'll notice then that we have duplicate items removed. Now once you understand these basic features, you can then use some of the other tools in order to provide analysis, such as what if analysis. We can provide a forecast based on a set of data and we can arrange our data either by grouping or by consolidating. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.